What's going on guys? Back again with a brand new video. Before this video starts, please leave a like on this video. Like actually, because we just hit a thousand subscribers. So please, please, please leave a like. If you're going to do it, do it now. Leave a like, subscribe. We need those extra subscribers. We got to hit 2k soon, so we need those extra subscribers. Also, go ahead and go down below in the description and check out Ricky Iolucci's track, which is the one that's playing in this video. So if you want to listen to that besides, you know, this video, if you want to listen to that solo or you want to listen to other tracks that he's produced because he's an awesome guy, go ahead down below. Check out his SoundCloud in the description. I thought I'd change up the intro a little bit. Um, but yeah, so anyway, brand new milestone. It's crazy. We just hit a thousand subscribers 1k 1000 subscribers on youtube and so on twitter if you're not familiar with my twitter it's at joe buster and at the apple attack um they will be right up there if you're not familiar with those go check them out um you know from the moment that i hit 100 subscribers back in like 2013 2014 um i just dreamed of a thousand subscribers i dreamed of getting that big and it just seemed so far away and so crazy to me to get that many subscribers so it's just crazy um and seriously from the bottom of my heart like thank you guys um you know your guys' support means everything to me and i wanted to you know give back to you guys and to do something a little fun so because of that i figured we would do a q a for this milestone so i told you guys to hit me up on twitter using the hashtag hashtag ask apple attack and I'm going to read out some of the questions and provide some answers for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So Joe says, I hate the fact that no in for 32-bit devices. Why? So I'm assuming what you mean by that is... Just Why is there no jailbreak for 32-bit devices? Well, here's the simple answer for that. Nobody cares about 32-bit. So if you guys are wondering about what exactly that was, um, go ahead and go down below in the description. It was a video that I uploaded yesterday, and it actually details the fact that somebody, somebody meaning JK, the same dude that was working on the Yalu user interface uh, and gave us a virtual tour, but it is really, really cool. So go ahead and go down below in the description if you want to see more of that video, and if you want to see, you know, more about the content of that and everything like that. Um, City is not detailed there. It doesn't show mobile terminal. It doesn't show that um, he is jailbroken, but he changed the default wallpaper from, uh, you know, basically what's default to a uh, iOS 10.2, iPhone 7 and 7 Plus exclusive default wallpaper while he actually has the iPhone 5. Uh, running iOS 9.3.3, so it is pretty cool that he was able to do that. A lot of people are on 64-bit, and those that are not on 64-bit that are on 32-bit, um, you know, a lot of you guys can downgrade and can jailbreak on previous versions. Uh, but some of you guys, like, I get it. Some, like, iPhone 5 users, um, iPhone 5 is still 32-bit, iPhone 5C, uh, th that's still 32-bit as well. So a lot of people are missing out on jailbreaks, which is just a shame because we haven't had a jailbreak for 32-bit. So will we have another 32-bit device jailbreak? Probably. Chris wants to know, when have you first started jailbreaking? So I started jailbreaking back in 2013, and it was a very, very pivotal year for jailbreaking and for iOS as a whole. 2013 was the year when we transitioned from iOS 6 to iOS 7, and that brought about a bunch of new changes for iOS as a whole and for the jailbreaking community as well. When iOS 7 was jailbroken, that was probably one of the most pivotal peaks of the jailbreak community because a lot of developers were thinking of a bunch of brand new, crazy, awesome new tweak ideas. Um, and there were a lot of new things that were happening all at once. So I started back when uh, all that was going on and I've been in the community and I've been active ever since. Um, you know, I did my own thing for a little while and then last year I started Jailbreak Busters and um, I've been helping out with that ever since. I've been doing that ever since and that's kind of my, um, you know, thing that I do for the community. And I also make videos as well too up on this YouTube channel. But yeah, so that's when I first started jailbreaking and I started jailbreaking back when, I mean, you know, this is hard to believe now. You guys, you know, I, I don't know how you guys are going to react to this, but I started jailbreaking when untethered, fully untethered jailbreaks were a thing. I know it's crazy. It, it doesn't even make any sense. 
Um, how, how, what even is a full on tether? Um, I'm, I'm completely joking, obviously. For you guys that are just joining the community, you might actually be saying that. Well, what does an untethered jailbreak mean? I've never even really heard of that before. Because the last couple jailbreaks that we've actually received haven't been untethered. And the reason for that is because untethers are harder to make and it's just easier to come out with semi untethered and semi tethered. What about a repo in the near future? Well, that's an interesting thought. Uh, possibly. Will it be my own personal Jailbreak Buster City repo? I don't know about that. Or Apple Attack. I don't know. Um, you know, let me know down in the comment area below if you think uh, a repo in the future would be a good idea. I don't know. Um, you know, obviously that's something that we, we would have to try out. Um, I hopefully in the next year will start to learn basic coding. So hopefully I can start to make my own tweaks. If that actually happens and I do... Uh, make my own tweaks, then I probably will make a city repo for that so people can try my own tweaks, give me some feedback, let me know if it works or not, let me know what people think. Um, so if that's the case, that does happen, I do make my own tweaks, um, then I probably will have my own repo up. But for the time being, I'm probably not going to have a, re a repo, so that's the answer to that question. So one thing I wanted to address real fast is I was supposed to make this video about a week or so ago, maybe a little bit longer. I delayed it for a long time because um, there's a video down below in the description that will explain it. Not really fully explain it, but like you'll understand why when you go watch that video in the description. The reason why I had to delay that, um, you know, this video from coming out is because I had to work on that video. Um, you know, some somebody gives us a, a visual tour of Yalu, so I had to work on that video. What are my thoughts on the whole Lucas situation? So this was, um, you know, what happened. Uh, probably between IJAP and Luca and the substrate enabler and all of that stuff. Um, so there's a sub, just to kind of shorten it, uh, there's a substrate enabler by IJAP who I have actually talked to in DMs. He might not have made the best decisions while you know pushing out the substrate enabler, but he pushed out the substrate enabler um, and made it so that users could just easily uh, switch into a jailbroken mode like I hold on, like I have right here with the, actually you're not gonna be able to see it because of my brightness like i have right here you know i have substrate work in there and this is ios 10 obviously by the i'm not this isn't a fake jailbreak it's a real jailbreak i promise um ios 10 was jailbroken what that's crazy now um well, if, if you didn't know yeah ios 10 was jailbroken by luca um and so basically the story goes with the whole uh conflict that was going on on there um IJAP basically made the jailbreak more accessible to users and more reason to, he basically made a reason to uh, use the jailbreak for regular users. Um, Luca basically disabled Substrate by default in the first few versions of the jailbreak just because um, he intentionally did it because he didn't want anybody to run into any issues um, regarding tweaks or anything and anything breaking in any way. So he disabled it for a reason, but IJAP went around it and um, he actually went and enable it so there's that yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to say on that all right guys that about does it for today's video i know this is super 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 late i know that i should have got this done a long time ago but i had a bunch of things like school and you know the jailbreak and you know just doing a bunch of other things that were just standing in the way of making this video and pushing it out to you guys so thank you for 1000 subscribers thank you for 1.1k um, because I already do have I already do have an extra 100 subscribers because I took so long to make the freaking video So I apologize, but like I said, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers like I said in the beginning of the video, please drop a like on this video Also, go ahead and subscribe and the link to uh, Ricky Iolucci SoundCloud with the two tracks will be down below in the description These are the two tracks that you heard in this video. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is David signing out. Peace.